Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. I'm just sitting here watching our newest little neighborhood. Well, they've been here for a little bit, but we've been slowly adding two of them. And that kind of starts me off with our second forestry who surprised us last time by actually working. <laughs> I've got a few comments that have come in about why, and it's because this was such a close project to them. And that this forestry and this forestry are not ever going to work on the same project together. So this one kind of landed in their jurisdiction and they took over sort of a thing. When I tried to get them to clear the trees for these three, I couldn't get them to lift a finger. So I'm curious if, because right now, you guys are st sitting there doing nothing and buying food and sitting there doing nothing. So they're not helping with the the sand pit over here they're not skipping ahead to the next project and working on this guy over here which is all on their end of the map <clears throat> so if I were to move that over to there would these guys suddenly get the order this is the next project in line and they are not currently working on it will these guys suddenly walk over there and start clearing these last places so let's find out Waiting for a partner and chopping a tree. Okay. Well, they do work. <laughs> I think. Where are you actually going? Let's just verify that. I don't want to run fast. I got a lot of things I want to talk about here at the beginning, but you're going to make a right turn and off you go. Okay, we'll do that. And in that case, what are you guys doing? Well, before I do, I wanted to show you this before something changes. We've got a full roster of help in there. I've never seen this thing completely full. So we finally got enough houses in the town to handle pretty much what the town needs at the moment. So that is a good sign. You guys are doing what now that you don't have the current project under your belt. So you are taking a rest, going to work, buying food, taking a rest, taking a rest. So you come to work, and are you looking for a partner to take a tree down? You are walking inside, waiting for a partner to get a log. So these guys just move on to the next project. These guys sit there and, and do their best to collect a paycheck without lifting a finger. I don't know. I'm going to have to babysit them the whole way. I tell you, that second building. Speaking of the second building, this was all my, my error. Yeah, a couple of you wrote in to point it out. Apparently, several times I've noticed dealing with this one, I go to click over in this one, and it the click doesn't take. I don't know where I'm clicking. If I click in the... I mean, it takes every time now. Maybe it's my mouse. But somehow I missed, and, and it didn't. It clicked, but it didn't take. So when I went to take the buckwheat down to zero, apparently I took that one down to zero, not this one down to zero. That's why it never left the, although, yeah, it never left the trader. And this one has more than 300. So they're not calling for it. <laughs> so let's start with you. Let's fix all this. You get... 500 barley, 500 buckwheat. We're going to use barley and buckwheat as the primary chicken feed for now. Linseed as well when it's there, but it's not there very often. We'll save our wheat and our sunflower for other uses. And now I know they do shear it off evenly. We saw that. 3 3 2 2 1 1. So they do that. You. Okay, so what did it take? It did buckwheat and barley, 500, 500. We should see this thing instantly ramp up and say, okay, I got it. Maybe I have to say, let's do some some chickens in here. No. Oh, come on. Play nice. Calling for 500. By any means possible. And I was told if I had a cart shed, I could have specifically told a carter to go in here, take some of this, and take it specifically to this place right here. Never 
played with those before, so I didn't know. Why are you... I popped in before the episode and just triggered that to make sure it worked, and it was boom, done, and everyone wanted to jump in and fill these places up. Maybe it's because I triggered this one. I did both. 500 and 500 and okay it's gonna prove me a liar <laughs> somebody just grabbed a hundred where are they taking it to <clears throat> they're taking it to here okay I am running slow but I was running slow then too and it was within a second so just by coincidence everybody oh it they may not have all been down in here at the moment that I tested that. Yeah, or something. Okay. All right, but it is working now. And we do have some linseed coming in. So the worker in here, or now I've got two in here. Eventually we'll have five. In fact, maybe it's time to think about that. I don't know. I don't... The only thing I know that these folks do that these don't is they go in and they thresh the harvest to make the flax and the linseed or the um, wheat from essentially the the sheave to the the grain so they'll do a threshing in here and that's these guys right here as well ladies and they will also feed the future oxen so they'll be in charge of the water and the foods right here so otherwise and that, you know, I have no problem with them doing that all through the winter. They don't have to have that all done by September. So I don't need five people to quickly run through all of that. It can be a staged thing and gradually feeding into the economy. So I don't need five people to do that. Everything else that's done at the farm is done right here. And this is finally working properly. So I don't think there's a need for all five. If there is, let me know. But I don't see it. I don't see needing to have all this done instantly. That just, that's just not needed. So there is that to deal with. I went through and reset a bunch of things. This is the next year. Where's four? Yeah, so it's not counting it as four though. It's counting it as two for some reason. But these are all staggered off by a year because this one didn't plant and these are still actively being worked on this so it hasn't cycled the other three but <clears throat> I have set everything up best I could I'm not convinced it's right yet I need to see a year with the plows going I want to get two plow teams in here and I need to see what that actually adds to the soil to more accurately predict what more will come in in between in order to extend that out to a cycle of four instead of a cycle of three. And I need to see how much more is added when our cows are um, using it when it's fallow. So does, does one year of fallow replenish everything 100% or does it replenish everything by a certain amount and hopefully that's pretty close to 100% and the cows will, will help them finish it off. I suspect that's the answer, but I'm not sure. So I need to see all that happen myself. And there's also the option of prioritizing gathering. Now, in Banished, you did that. They would come out, they would harvest, and then they would carry what they harvested back in. And then they decide whether they're going to come out and do another row, or they're going to go back and take a break. And in banished it would then cause part of the time they would have been harvesting to be taken up by bringing it back in and so you could get to the end of the year and not get everything harvested because they spent so much time carrying everything back in instead of getting that extra half row done each time they were out here so i've learned to stay away from prioritized gathering the frost hitting the snow hitting doesn't seem to harm these guys that are still sitting in the field if they're still sitting out there you tell me if it does, but I, actually, I take that back. I have never had them sitting out here when the snow came down. So it seems like in my first series back in Alpha 1, there wasn't an issue. But I don't know that that hasn't changed in all these years. But I'm 
I'm reasonably sure, I'm working on the assumption, let's work, put it that way, that if there's still a few of these bushel buckets sitting out here when the snow comes down, they're not going to go away. And these ladies here are still going to be out there picking them up. And then they'll eventually go through and they'll go through the threshing and get all that done too. So I don't see the need to do prioritized um, gathering when the when the snow does hit it, I think it's pretty much guaranteed whatever's left in the field goes away so that to me is the higher priority now we've got four fields coming next time for the first time in this series so we'll see what happens there but that's the assumption I'm working on as to why I don't click prioritize gathering I learned in banish that, that was doom if you are working with large fields and trying to cram in everything you possibly could like like a fifth large field with the same crew kind of a thing you'd never get it all done before the snow hits so that's when I definitely wouldn't use this right now I probably could get away with it but I don't see the need so tell me if there is a need that I'm not aware of um, boats did get repaired over here and did not get repaired over here and they wouldn't do it till it I guess it gets to a certain point so I just sent these guys home they can do it all next spring we're in August we have September October, November. You know those bite those boats may not make it. That looks like a little more than three months worth of or a little less than. Hmm. I'll try to remember to hire them the next month or so. Doing this manually right now till we get everything up and running. What else is going on? So we did get this triggered. It is starting to show up. Okay. And the laborers are now free to make it happen. You're showing up here. We got eggs coming out. All right, so let's put some chickens back in here and get this this functioning again. Now that I see what mistakes I made, um, you let's relocate half of those chickens. So 16 of them, and same thing with 16 of the hatchlings. And I did set that. Okay. Oh, and you remained. Cool. Relocate to there. And if she is working today, she's taking a rest. Okay. So when she gets back, she'll grab half of these, toss them over there. You are still employed. You have water. You have food. And we're up and running again. There's a little bit of linseed on its way over there. And none over here. You are all calling for the same thing, right? Pretty sure you are. Let's just apply to all. Make sure that that works. Okay. Chickens are back up and running again. We're not going to have any chicken meat or eggs in the system for a while, though. Because now we have less than 30 in each, so we're just going to be letting them grow. So if we get into... Well, we're almost to October. I think we're going to be okay. We only had the one family. Yeah, where were they? Here? You had your third child living over there yeah this is the family here and you've got a good variety built up now so i think you're going to be fine from last episode they didn't have enough variety and did you ever get healed you're still in the same health bar so i think that's a forestry thing i think that's a that's a, a lumberjack injury just have a feeling okay so what else went on last time that i needed to talk about before we got moving um, whatever, however you want to define the word moving. <laughs> For me, this is moving. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, this was seven, now it's two. So you guys are actually doing your job. Do we have a tree? You're probably walking it through the woods. It's probably your trail over there. Uh taking a rest, buying food, taking a rest. Okay, they're out of commission. So they're going to get these trees taken down. We're building these other houses, which are one over there, then two over here. They're taking these trees down here and here. And then we're going to get this. There was seven there. That's the one that had seven. So these guys are moving three ahead. I'll tell you, this is the A-team over here. They really are. You guys are working in there taking a rest going to work working now I take it back you're all just cutting firewood of which we have too many okay and you can't jump into the next job hmm I guess no matter what we do we're doomed 
<laughs> so when the jobs start filling up at this side, this becomes a team and these head down, working, working, taking a rest and yeah, they're all just sitting there. Okay. Who's the closest to going home? Team of three down here and team of five over here and you guys have the next jobs for a while. Okay, we'll do that. And I'll just cycle them back and forth, I guess, depending on which side of the map we're working. Which was the original plan and the reason I put that in there to begin with. I wanted you guys to handle all the jobs down in here, which were going to be the orchards and the fields and all the houses and what have you. And I couldn't get you to work no matter what I did. Okay, speed this up a bit. We don't have anybody in there. Anybody still rolling in? Dirkachi, Balaklia, nobody's still rolling in, okay. Or rolling or sailing in. So trading is done for now. Um, let's see our ladies over here. We've now got flax. So let's get you two hired, get that going. Let's get you hired. We're going to have textiles rolling in. We've still got lots of leather. Are we? We're still in August. Oops. Okay, well, that's what's going on. Sorry. We're still, everybody is doing labor things right now. Yeah. So that's done with the exception of a few. What They're just doing the, uh, the picking things up out of the field. So they can still handle all that, all within the same month of August. Okay. Um, this one, I hadn't planned on using again. We could, though. I mean, we could throw in a, a, a wheat crop into there. Sure, we can do that. So I don't know if there's wheat coming up next. The cattle have been let out. Look at that. That's because he rolled into the next year. It was potatoes. Now this, the farm is going to be accurate. So now we have a fallow field, a fallow field, a fallow field, a fallow field. So every year there's one fallow field in cycles of four. Though I've still got to figure out how all this works and make sure that the, the, uh, the nutrients work out but that's for another episode. All right, so it did come in. A, one really long comment giving me lots of details and other, others mentioning it over the last many episodes. The cart shed is quite important, and we really need to think about uh, exploring that. I also want to get into figuring out what's with the brickworks, but I guess that's right here, which will be soon. Three trees, and we're back up and running over here. So... And then once it's done, I can shift that forward. In fact, I can kind of shift that. F well, let's get the three done. Okay. Because I want to get the brickworks going just to see it. And I'm still kind of confused by that. In that this doesn't give you a list of what you want brought in there. This one, you know, how much iron, how much charcoal do you want stored? This one, how much water, charcoal, firewood, and hay, and wheat do you want stored? How come we don't get to choose how much sand and clay we want stored in our brickworks? What's the difference there? Why did they do that? So I don't understand that. So once we get the sand pit up and going, then uh, we hopefully those th those answers will start to become apparent. Um, you, let's go ahead and hire again, boatyard. You're probably... Yeah, this one, as soon as it comes in, I need you guys up and working. Now, oh, this is our August. Oh, we're into September. That flew fast. Never mind. But we do have a 6,000 charcoal sitting there in reserve. We've got 8,000 sitting over there in reserve. And we've got... Where are you? There. Down to 1,500 in reserve. Okay. We've got our 5,000 stored here. We've got our 1,000 there. And our f almost 5,000, there's four more coming, stored there. We do have iron again. And you have iron? You do. So we are up and running again. Did I ever rehire? I did not. Do I need to? Not really. We're still at a thousand nails. You're just, yeah, you're just maintaining. And we'll get to that. Okay, so a cart shed basically employs carters so 
village house is done. Good. So an individual that whose job is just to... Where's the door in this one? Right there. Whose job is to... Well, they can bring building materials to all of the, the next projects coming up, allowing the builders to just concentrate on building, which is what I had mentioned an episode or two ago. I, was, I wish that the laborers could do, but apparently the carters will do that. They will do special missions of specific products being taken from here to there as you need. And we'll, we'll, we'll find out all else that they can do. Do we have any wheat in the system at this point? We don't, do we? We don't, so you're still dead in the water. Okay, so lots going on. I need, this is where if I was playing for myself, I'd slow down. I'd head into all of the market stalls, see what's what's happening. Is there a kind of product that always runs out sooner? In which case, I would put all of those in the same one. And then probably unhire her for six months out of the year. And there's lots of little fine-tuning things I could be doing. But let's concentrate on more of the macro instead of the micro. Although you guys are already taking out more logs here. Even though this job is still going. So they are willing to jump a job ahead. Whereas these guys would never. Would never even consider it. Because we saw that. We, we had... Before I changed the order, this was in front of, and they were just sitting there. They didn't want nothing to do with it. But um, where to put the cart shed? All that just to get to the point of where to put the cart shed. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, near, near homes so that it will be employed also near where it will eventually work. I don't know where that is, to be honest. Um, we do so much of our stuff by laborer. These guys are all in the process of bringing all the flax over. So we are into September. All right, let's work on this manually here. So on the on season, let's get two people in here. That is March and August off. Okay, I've been doing this otherwise and has really messed things up so same thing here on season which is everything but and there's one there okay you guys same thing two people oh come on in the on season same that's set up right okay boom 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 you guys now have sunflower so one person in there although now nah, one person in there there's more coming and she has to thresh that or shuck it or whatever the word is so we're going from the the 863 in the uh, in that form to the seed form over here is kind of the, what it's trying to say so the bundle or the oh I forget what you call them they're all stacked up um, so it's gonna come in gradually let's set one worker in the on season off season at this point just March and August until I can get a sense of this. Eventually when there is a second farm going here or here, I guess, then we will probably have a crop of sunflowers every year. In which case, these guys will be continually operating. Now, hmm, I think I'm going to start here. No, I can't. Still waiting for that. I... I don't know what... Okay, let's let's go here. All right, it consists of two steps. First, the bricks are formed from clay and sand and dried. Then the formed bricks are fired in the kiln to give them strength. Choose the amount of bricks to be produced in one batch and the number of batches. Okay, batches are here and batch size. Okay. Um, to start your batch, workers will gather the required clay, sand, and water in equal proportions. For burning stage, it will gather charcoal. It is recommended to build brickyards near water for easy access to unlimited water for the platform. Okay. So this would have been probably better as an industry right down in here. But I think we're going to be fine. We've got water there for you. We've got water here for you too. We've got a well uh there 
that is maxed out, nobody's using it, so there's a, a medium point in between. So we could put a well off on this side as well, and that would function for what we need to do. And if it somehow runs out, they, they're not that far away from this one. Dukachi just showed up, which means 10,000 charcoal is going away right now. So a well over here would be wise to get us going. Um, does it matter well? Where? Well, where? Um, I was thinking right behind. They can walk through their complex. No, there is a fence over here. So they cannot get out the back side to get the sand. Okay, that's a little frustrating. So they will be popping out and walking around and coming back here for the clay and for the sand. That's a good pathway there. Not a great pathway here. Opening's right there. Let's put a really convenient park bench <laughs> right there and move that puppy up right there. Okay. And otherwise, we're working on this next. It's family settling into town. And there's a tree right there as well. So another park bench right in there. Okay. So that is going to open up our pathways. That's the other park bench. Okay. And that'll give a good, easy access to the clay. And that's an easy access to the sand. Although the entrance is probably here in the end. Probably is. In which case, they're probably going to take that pathway and come in like so. Either way, they can get to it. Alright. So that's there. So a well. Hmm. Let's wait and see how they operate with these two. I like to put the well right here. I like to put it in a place that is convenient to this building only, so it's not then used by whatever we happen to stick in over here and kind of forget that these guys need as much water as they can get. All right, so a batch, number of batches. Um, I don't know if there is a reason not to push it up. I don't know. We'll go to two. And we'll wait until the sand's available. All right, so kick that up, Durkachi. You are 21 more days. You're willing to buy 8,200 charcoal. Let's just do it and say thank you. We're at 700. I'm going to pause again. And I know some of you are cringing, but that's fine. Um, taxes. How are we looking? Uh, we're into September. Throughout the year, before I add another 500 to the economy, where are we at really at right now in taxes? So, we have a total income of 2,700 and total expenses of 2,300. So, rent and land tax and wealth tax coming in versus what we're putting into salaries. That's probably their equivalents, right? Let's see. Because otherwise, We've got the local sales versus local purchases and the imports versus exports. So these two don't really mean anything because their needs change all the time. We might need a bunch of leather. We might, next year we may not need any leather. Whatever. We may grow our own wheat or we may buy the wheat. So import, export, I can't really gauge anything with that. We are buying 60... Mm, yeah, 60 money's worth. Um, <laughs> that is... I was told in a comment, this sounds like Grivnia. Gr Grivna. So, correct me if that's wrong. Grivna. But, okay, coins. I like that better. It's easier. Because I'm always going to sit there and... Okay, now how was that again? Um, um, yeah, so 60 coming in that we're paying out. And we're selling 765 of it. You don't need to take this down, purchase from your, your, your citizen price to a very low number and gouge them that way because we're still selling so much more than we're paying. So that's just... Give, give them what, what they deserve so that they can afford to pay their taxes with it. Um, so we're bringing in local sales. Now that's more than 
just what we're buying from them, of course. That's the potatoes and that's the salt and all the other things that we're selling to them, the clothing and the what have you. So, but that's the equivalent you know, mirror, I guess. So over here in rent, we're 150, 650, that's eight, nine. It's a thousand coming in. And in salaries, we're putting out 1,600. So we're still putting out in salaries a lot more than we're taking in from them. And we're offsetting that by now making enough products to sell back to them. So that, in a sense, becomes a local tax too. Kind of. So now our 1,000 becomes 1,900 and 1,600 is going out. Okay. So what I'm about to buy or sell from Durkachi doesn't really affect the rest of that, but I wanted to see it before I really offset the system by making a huge purchase. But our original test case were the Zayats. They're doing fine. They're into the 50s. Pretty soon they'll be up near the 80s where we're now tapping the wealth tax. So I think we're going to be okay. There was a family over here that was struggling. They're at 20 now, and they've got a house full of foods. So they're okay. they got the two incomes coming in. Okay. So I think I'm happy with that. Speed it back up again. And trading post. Let's sell a whole bunch of charcoal deal. So 416 is coming in. I would love to buy wheat, but I can't. Salt we no longer need to buy? I don't know about that. What are we looking at for an ETA for our first batch? See, I don't know what happens right here. We've done something. we got a 1,000 salt in here. Ooh. Okay. Saltworks building allows to produce salt from underground brine deposits. Uh, suit, needs to be built in a suitable place. Uh, two horses, two oxen. Uh, you can't mix them. Pump brine is stored in buildings collector. To turn it to salt, it needs to be evaporated by heat. That big right there stack. You can use either firewood or charcoal. Salt is produced in batches of 100 units, which take 30 units of charcoal or 100 units of firewood. You can choose which fuel to use and supply options. So in that case, we've done 10 batches already? How fast has this been rolling through? Wow. And why are they still doing it when I've chosen a 1,000 and we have a 1,000? All right, so now we need to get into the idea of storing salt. I slowed it back down again. I don't want to miss the rest of Dracachi, but answer my question. I don't need to... Uh, I don't need to buy salt ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> 500 over here just to give a local place to store it um, let's put another 500 in here salt 500 and then who is willing to buy it I don't remember uh, Dracachi not they want to sell it so let's put a salt in here of 5,000 and a salt in here of 5,000. We'll just let that slowly build and deal with it on a case-by-case -case basis till we can fine-tune that number and see if it really is a viable number or not. Okay, back to Dirkachi, who's now 16 days left before they're done. And they're already a quarter of the way here with that one, which now, well, it might mean that they're willing to buy it some more. It does slowly build up what they're willing to buy. Okay, wheat. Let's go with, with purchase. Leather. I want to do a massive leather purchase. And then maybe play with the idea of turning horse tack back on. I don't know. But I'd love to see a lot of leather in here. So we've got 400 going in. So if I did 2,000, that's going to be 500. Let's do 1,000 for now. And we can do another 1,000 before we run out of time. Deal. Because I want to go through the rest of this. Metal parts, iron. Iron. I've got to go away and go over here. Iron in storage is kind of running low. And we're a ways before we're going to be able to buy our own iron. Okay. So that's kind of why I didn't say buy all the leather. Because I want to make sure I don't 
mess up there. Come on. Uh, 12 cents. If I do the 1,000, I won't have to do anything again for a long time. We'll do that. And we have plenty of nails. We have plenty of nails. We'll do 500. Deal. Pigs, cows, horses. It's October. I don't know when the next merchant from Dirkachi is going to show up. Let's get our four oxen in for our plows for the uh, for the farm. Let's get that done and guarantee that it's going to happen. So oh, I wish it wouldn't default to 11 cows. I almost hit purchase or deal. <laughs> I only wanted these guys. Um, more cows means more milk. Means more... Uh, that much sooner to meet. Seems like we're sitting on like maybe five cows. Oh, it tells me seven cows right now. Mm. And two bowls. So we've had some babies. We only had one bowl a, a little while ago. It's happening. Let's get three more cows in. Okay. So there's another 280. All right. Deal. And that's all. Don't need flour. Don't need potatoes. We're good on all of that right now. Okay. So leaving is 250. 530. Almost 600 leaving. Coming to us is 400 and something. What else do we want to sell? Shoes, 500. Shoes are really good. And there's another 160. So, shoes, buckwheat, charcoal. Um, we'll wait till we're closer to the end of our 13 days and take another look at the charcoal. Sunflower oil, we already got 100 brought in. 150 just showed up. Okay, we can commit to 150. Might even be able to commit to more by the time they get here, but 150 is guaranteed, so I'm going to do that deal. Uh, clothes. There's 170 waiting to sell. All right. Dracachi is a great trading partner for us. Really so. Uh, not going to touch the honey for a while. We'll get more later in town, but that's a food source that I need to begin stockpiling, not just selling it and turning it into income. It worked when we were hurting, but we're not hurting so much anymore. All right. So I said, what I say? 600 coming in? Ish. Uh, are leaving. Coming in is now four, um, five, seventy-five, six and a half. Okay. So we're pretty well balanced on that. I think we're going to be okay. Now, playing with such a tight budget, if we had bought everything first, we may have actually gone down to zero before we started selling things to fill it back up again so yeah when you're under a thousand and you're doing like this right here be careful about the order it's kind of like uh you know cashing you're spending something out of your checking account the day before your paycheck goes in to cover it <laughs> you gotta get the order right okay so that's a thing there in another 10 days i could sell maybe a little more uh, charcoal or when we start seeing all these carts arriving we'll see how that times out because I can only do five sales at a time what on here speed up again all right so cart shed I still haven't decided where that needs to be and every time I th try to sit there and think about it I think about other things too like they did get transferred they did and we still got all of our goods another oh, bench just went went in great so that's you, and you can go away. And now we have a pathway. Now this guy will be next. Um, sand pit, we know is being worked on by a team over here. And these guys are done. There's nothing else for them to, to cut down, and I doubt they're doing any of the other projects. Rest, working is there. Rest, working is there. And rest. So rest and rest. Actually, that's it. Yeah, that's it. One guy to maintain firewood and logs down here, or, or timbered, or planks. And that's it for here. 
So manually, we're at one during the on season and one during the off season until we get more jobs down here. Okay, so you guys ramp back up again. On season and off season are both five. And you'll be doing, actually, I don't know what you'll be doing because I'm not used to having so few houses or buildings up here in the queue. <laughs> we're gonna have to lay some things out uh sand pit is almost done let's move you up to there make sure that gets dug out soon all right so third fourth fifth time cart shed i don't know we have kind of here except now this is blocked um back side of here but that is a pathway Bridges coming up through here. They could be down in here, giving them access to here, to here, to here. That sound reasonable? And I'm running a two speed. If I already run out of Dukachi, I did. Yeah, two speed is too fast for me. Um, I think Cart Shed might be down around here and might be the border of our road that I want to create. Okay, so if that is the case, although I may have shot myself in the foot here, I can get underneath the road. Maybe in this little hill right here, I can see a, a drop off right there. So I have a building spot right in here. I wanna go from here across to the entrance of this in a road. So I want a building right here to border the bottom half of that. Okay. So, Cart Shed, you are in transportation. You're kind of in this area. There. You, oh, you're a good-sized building. You're not going to go there. Okay. Place is occupied. Oh, oh, oh. I could just barely get in there. Now, I wish I knew what the blue was on the bridge. Well, okay, we'll do it this way. So that right there. I take it that's not bridge. It's just nothing else can be built in this zone. The bridge must end right there. Okay. So if that's the case, then cart shed. Now, if you were to go here, what does that do to us? Place is occupied. Where do I have to go? Now, you did work a moment ago. What am I missing here? I thought you dropped in. You did. But I, it's not going to let me even look at it from the other side. Okay. Well, we're right up against the bridge there and up against the building here. So there's no more crossing around. So these guys have to walk up at a cross, which would look better. Uh, Pathway-wise. Okay. Now, does this building need to access from any other side? No, there's fences all the way around. That's the entrance, and that's the only way in and out. Okay. So far, it's looking positive. This might be a good place for it. Spin you around just a little bit. And... Pathway actually travels from there down into here. So actually, you're more like this. Uneven terrain. There is a spot. And that looks pretty good. I think that's it. Okay. So you're the cart shed. We have plenty of people working here now. Or living here now. So we can start pushing some of these other ones off a little bit. In fact, we may actually have some folks not employed anymore. I, mean, I could look that up, of course. But um, looking for jobs, none. They're finding jobs. There's plenty of laborer jobs around. But... I think I'm done building houses for, you know, on in emergency mode. So, well, is that one. Let's get that one going so that I can see if it is viable. I think it is. A certain distance from the water, and the, the water is no good to drink. And I was looking at that earlier from here, thinking, how close is that to the water? Where does that drift in? I bet you it's in the area of the the bad um, soil. I wonder, is that fresh water? Where's the map? Um, here. 
Yeah, I guess it would be fresh water. Never mind. I was wondering if there was ocean encroachment. I mean, we're, I keep wanting to zoom in on the map here. We're not that far in from the ocean. Austria meaning island or isle. But that would be fresh water going out. Okay. So that's not salt water going in. That's why the water is bad. That's just the first thought that came to my mind there. Anyway, let's get the well going. And so we can see that and make sure that it's viable. I don't need to move it to another spot or something or you know, off to the end or something. Um, so, cart shed right there. And bridge right there. Let's get that puppy in. And you need to go up here. That's why you haven't built. Okay. In fact, you can just kind of do that. Where am I at for an episode? 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I never feel like I get much done in these episodes. And yet, I, I always find something to talk about. <laughs> That's fine. I've had our, our RimWorld series went 200 episodes, and we had a blast in it. Took our time, and and that was that was really a fun series. That was, yeah. I like seeing these guys at, at one speed. They look a little more realistic. Two speed, they're like I don't know, little wind up toys. They're not they're not very real. Okay, boy. I hope the new houses that we get though. Which are over Oh, I was going to say, I, I sure hope they get some beehives. We got some more beehives. Cool. Okay, good. And bench is completed, so I can pull you. Well, that's over here. You can leave. And if I were to drop a bench right there in on that tree, uh, rotate around boom okay that tree is gone and I'm trying to stop these trees from coming in there's lots of that's a that's a fence okay so that's a decent trail now I'll accept that okay so that's good um, there are little trees all around so I'm pretty sure these guys will kind of self plant Is that one right there yeah so they will start to fill the forest back in, I'm pretty sure, on their own. I'm, we've taken these trees down. What I don't know is if these trees, these babies, were already here when the game started. You know, when you, when you fire up the map, are the baby trees already in place? And we're just seeing them represented, or did these self-plant after we've taken these down? I don't know. They won't in a building site, but they apparently do on a clearing. So the forest will replant themselves, which is kind of nice. Um, so cart shed is down here now. And get the well. I wanted to put a well in. That's right. So I wanted to get this guy going, though. I wanted to see it. And that was the not the last log. Okay. So we get that guy going. I want to see how that works. Decide if that well is going to go into that space. Or if, if it really would be wise to let them... Uh, uh, let them walk there instead. All right, so awaiting. Okay, so we're refilling our sails. Yeah, sunflower oil's coming in, salt's coming in. Um, and yet there's still salt in the markets. Yeah, they're still able to grab it. Uh, salt works. Finished another run. And it's already gone from here, so somebody grabbed it. Uh, our two oxen. Okay. So, and there's awaiting another hundred. And we're probably about to start a, a new brine run for that to be waiting. I'm guessing. Does that show up when that bar finishes? Or does it show up when another worker gets to work and then suddenly it's there? I don't know what's going on there. It was awaiting 100. It was the red down arrow. Another hunter was leaving. And suddenly that's all gone and we're waiting 100. Like the instant it showed, it, it disappeared again. And now this one is, is leaving without the bar moving. I can't honestly say I get what's happening here. It's just there's a lot of stuff happening in, under the scene that isn't being represented by any kind of action out here. Hmm. 
Uh, child born, nice. No angry messages. We've gone through October. Slow down. So, we were not employed. I wanted to, let's think about, we were. I employed off season, I reversed it. So there was somebody here to purchase in October when all of the the yards processed and we bought horseradish, we bought dried fruit, we bought garlic, but we ran, there wasn't enough room. Okay, and we've already, garlic doesn't last long at all. Wow. Okay, let's turn this off. You got garlic over here too. Let's, I can't sell garlic that I'm aware of. Uh, there's nothing maxed out over here. I'd like to move that garlic up into here to see if we can get it sold off. The garlic in the market over here is where? Right there. And you're sitting on 70. How can this already be there? It's like it was last year's garlic or something, but I know there wasn't. How can that run out so quick? That's kind of confusing. Garlic in the houses. Whoa, what did I see there? 181. You couldn't find anybody else to sell it to. And apparently you... Well, you might have been able to sell it to here. Garlic is a thing. And we, yeah, we definitely have the capacity. So you could have sold it to here if you could have reached. Which is what I wanted to know. Can these folks sell? Can they reach here? You can work there. I don't know if you can sell to there. So if I were to re-employ you and take that garlic up to, oh, well, 200. Would, once you trigger, would you immediately start selling it? So right there, we should see an up arrow when that happens. But I don't get the bar there. That's really kind of confusing when what everybody else is selling is actually in good shape right there it all would have come from the same you know this the same round of gardens being uh being harvested okay so i think we're okay there then i'll leave you in for that month just to see what happens um, otherwise the market stalls can draw from these as they need to without you being there um, you're just arriving at work. So once you sit there, you are now supplying resources. So you are... Oh, that's right. They will bring things to the market stalls. These folks will. So the market stall doesn't have to. Because you're off buying food. You're not even working right now. Yet she went and supplied them with what was needed. Interesting. Okay. But we're still waiting for this person. Oh, maybe that's happening. You are a child. Nope. And you are working there. So you can't go home and sell it. And you're working there. Okay. But you guys, that's the wrong house. Right there. So you folks, you live there. <laughs> I guess she doesn't want to sell it to herself. Interesting. What are you doing? You are... Oh, you're the mom you're the mother-in-law okay and you went and got yourself some eggs oh good find and, but you work here and you got eggs to sell oh and now you are taking a rest which means you might go and sell off your garlic you're at home no you're just gonna well you're doing something you are now taking a rest by doing what to go sit over there and take a rest not there, and not there, and not there, but over here. I think she knows somebody over here she wants to go spend some time with. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know how to facilitate that anymore. She's just, they're just not going to sell their garlic. Interesting. I would think over a certain number they would automatically sell. Okay. Uh, boats, did you get work done? You're in decent shape. You're now in decent shape, except for one. And that was probably the one right there. These guys are probably waiting for that one to show up. So that when they get back to work, you're working. But you won't go over and pick that up. We're at the end of November. We're probably near the 
the end of the uh, uh, the fishing season, and I'm surprised you're not going to go do it. So I guess you guys are done for the year. So off season is now finished. On season is going to be two people, and you can just touch up all the boats you need to, then you're done. You have married and moved instantly into this house that just got finished. They both show up at the same time. Had a comment asking if uh, if they get a chance to uh, to move into a house once they marry. And yeah, the game prioritizes them first. So they get first dibs. And you are making a new pathway over here. Cool. Now, Marefa and the sand pit is done. So slow down. Let's finish the, this, the episode with that. Sand pit. We now have clay. We now have sand. We are going to hire... We'll start with, say, four guys. Not enough workers need a minimum of two. Okay. You've had a child. Great. You'll fill up here real soon. We just... Well, if nothing else, we'll fill up as soon as November ends because we'll have a bunch of fishermen available. Um, and we still have no wheat in the system, right? Yeah. So I, I see this guy sitting still and makes me wonder. But you guys will hire here real soon. Let's go talk to Marifa. Right there. All right. So you guys will buy sunflower oil. 500. And it reminds me, I probably should, well, keep a reserve of sunflower oil over here. I think so. So let's put, oh, maybe 200. Make it that much easier for these merchants to reach it. Because they, um, they most likely can't go over here to get it. So there's another item that would benefit from having an intermediate point. All right, so that's going to move over there, uh, right here. So sunflower oil, we did sell. We've got, we're at 650. We've got 90 coming in. Lime, dried fish, sunflower oil, buckwheat, flour, sallow, chicken eggs, isn't a thing, horseshoes, iron, metal parts, and flax. So nothing else to sell them. We want what? How are we doing on honey? What did the town itself bring in? Honey is 200. We haven't really gained much. But for several months now, we've been in that 200 range. So we are maintaining. So I don't need to supplement the town with honey now. So back to here again. World map. Broadcloth, we're not going to deal with. I bet you I never did notice what happened over here, huh? So Taylor, we still have sheepskin and broadcloth. And they haven't done anything with it. And warm cloth is 500, so it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault this time. So sheepskin apparently still needs to go through the tannery. Is that it? Tannery worker? Sheepskin. Tan sheepskin, tan leather. Okay. So sheepskin is, is not the same as sheep hides. It must be sheep hides or what comes out of that then goes back into here. No, but you're calling for it. It wouldn't be here if it wasn't the right stuff. So now I am confused. Are you only going to work on the clothes until you're finished and then you'll work on the warm clothes? Do I need a second person to jump over that hurdle? Okay, I'll play with that little string of logic and see if that works. So something's going on over there and I don't know what it is. All right, back over here. World map, Marefa. Um... Wheat. Yes. So is 90 going out? Let's put, bring in 1,000 wheat and get the flour going again. I'd love to bring in 2,000 wheat. Ah. Uh, let's do it. We, yeah, 1867. Let's buy it all. Deal. It's going to hurt us a little bit there, but it's all going to get turned into a product that we can sell. And the snow is starting to fall. We do have 200 flour to sell. So let's do that. Alright, so you're there. Flour does expire. Deal. Where is the flour? Right there. Yeah, good to get that out of there. And get the fresh stuff in. You're sitting here. Why are you sitting here? What other deals are sitting around that I haven't finished? Dracachi is still waiting. Oh, these are a thousand at a time. 
Okay, so 8,000 charcoal takes a long time to get out of here. They're going back in the snow. All right, one more time. World map and back to Marifa and purchasing warm clothes. Let's do our traditional 100 every time they show up. We have a lot more people in stock, though, or in, in town. Let's do 200 this time. Make sure that both places can grab some, both ends of the map. In fact, there were three, were there warm clothes over there against the, uh, the very end? Can I afford that? 90, there's 120 going out. It's 186 going in. So that would be another, that'd be 300 going out. From the, so 180, so down to 500. I think we can handle it. We we'll just have to be careful about the next one. All right, let's do 300. So, if there are folks beginning of winter that are desperate, that should supplement quite a bit. All right, so horses, warm clothes, broadcloth, textile, honey, wheat, hemp, and live chickens. Don't need to buy. Sell sunflower oil. That is the same 500 that's already up and going. Buckwheat flour, that's the 200 we've already done. Chicken eggs, horseshoes, and metal parts and flax. Okay, I think we're we're done there. So let's take another look at this operation. There's all of our information. How many batches at a time? Now we got to figure out what to do with these batches and how we're going to store them. So getting too far ahead of ourselves may not be a great thing. Um... But we're bringing in the clay, bringing in the sand, bringing in the water. Where are we bringing the water from? Do we actually have activity here? Yes, we do. Look at that. And I like the way they carry it. A two bucket system. Of course, it takes a second person to do that kind of. I mean, you need someone else to put the bucket on your stick. <laughs> I think it could be done, but boy, that's backbreaking work. Okay, so a well in here. You are forming a pathway through here and you're coming from there whoa almost tripped almost tipped yourself over your, your wheel is riding up on top there yeah so they're coming around like this I see and that is convenient for them as far as a well goes and you're right there could I put the well in the middle what was that a well is done I was over at the other place. And I'm probably well over an hour, aren't I? Oh, well, not too not too bad. I can sneak another minute or two in. Okay, well. Do we do this kind of a well? Where am I? We could do that. And leave our pathways open. Yeah, so show me the pathway over here. Nobody's getting clay at the moment. And the snow is starting to hide everything. Darn. So it's there and it's here. So if we went right there, let's do that. And that well is the next priority. You're right there. And that'll be a quick in and out and it's done. So these guys, that's going to be fun to see that, that wood bridge after all this time. And you guys are working on two batches at a time. You're bringing in an equal amount of materials, whatever that turns out to be. And everybody is employed for the winter and bringing in a good income. All right. I like it. This well, is it suitable for human consumption? It is. Perfect. And we'll just leave both available until we need to specialize later. All right. So these are all coming in. You guys have mothballed. You have. So that's right. I need to continue making batches for the through the winter so off season is one person hire back in hire back in although there's no fish to deal with but there are batches to complete okay so you guys hire back in you're done until march when you go back and repair the boats and we only need one person for that this time all the boats are in pretty good shape i'll leave you right there um anything else to verify or to finish something we've talked about you need to come back in we do have wheat coming, so I'll do that now. Um, on season will be one, and on season is at least there. We 
unless we buy more, we'll probably run out by about that point. Okay. Um, I should go through and see how these are really going. We may have market stalls that aren't necessary. Did you? You're the one I wanted the extra warm clothes for. And no, you weren't over here. So we're going to have a little bit of extra warm clothes available. The chickens are... The chickens are fine. The chickens. There you are. Okay, we're good there. And we're still good there. All right. Um, is that everything? You are two people and still not making warm clothes. So I could spend another couple minutes reading this, but fill me in on why that's not working if you already know the answer. Hunter sheepskin, hunter broadcloth. They do batches of 50 to get clothes, so I assume there were two batches worth sitting there. Maybe it's a batch of 200. I don't know. Maybe that's what's going on. Um, you still have plenty of flax to be working on to make more textile. And I don't need to store the textile in warehouses because it goes from here directly to here. So we don't need that, that step in the middle. There's still plenty of storage space. So you're fine. You are working on these by yourself. You're still beyond what we can keep up with. So you're fine. Um... You guys are making shoes as fast as you can, and almost faster than we can sell it. And we have a bunch of leather coming in. So let's get you stocked up again and running um, one person. That's fine. And with help getting the goods there. And let's start making horse tack again and just play with that idea I'm not convinced it's a it's a great profit if there's any profit at all but still it'd be fun to do um we done then I think we are how we doing here um cows one year so the one years are new and there's an even newer new so we're looking at is there a place yeah a total of 14 out of 20 so we're going to start slaughtering soon. So in case I forget next time, we've already got salt delivered. And that's all we need. And otherwise, a worker in place there. And we'll figure out the cycle later and how all that works. Which means a tannery is going to be needed soon. You're awaiting lime. We did buy some extra lime and a batch of leather. We don't have any leather yet. Okay. So next time we're probably going to be spending some time over here figuring out how this works. And it may well be, I've been told that the leather will rot faster than we can build up enough to make a batch. So one batch. Does it say what a batch is? Okay, tree bark, lime salt, and water in these proportions. But I don't see a number of hides necessary to get a batch going. Six months... And so the, the hides tend to rot before the quantity comes in when you only have one cow shed. You're not slaughtering fast enough. So we might have to do something like no workers. Maybe slaughter a whole bunch at a time. Take that bar down and then build it back up. Bar it down and back up. And do this in a much larger batch all at once in order to make this work until we have a second or third cow shed later somewhere out over there okay i think i have rambled on enough here but that's kind of gives you a heads up of what's coming and i'm gonna call it done here thanks for watching guys and catch you later Bye bye